It was a study that, um, well, it was a project really. So there were 16 practicing lung cancer nurse specialists from all over the country. So from different hospitals and different trusts. We all came together and we looked at what the role of the lung cancer nurse specialist is in the um, optimum lung cancer pathway. Um, so this is a national pathway that's being rolled out across um, the country to enable patients to be treated within 49 days and there's an aspect within the pathway that says meet, you know one of the criteria is to meet the lung CNS and we wanted to explore what that actually means and what is the expectation um, of what we should be or are providing to patients when they have that meeting. So is it for example you know, you're giving them a card with your details on, or is this something more substantial? So the 16 of us, we all went away and we did a reflective piece. So we reflected on that first meeting with a patient. We did that twice, so we did it with two separate patients, and then we came back together and took all of that results, all of that reflection, and put it all in a pot, and then we pulled out themes using um, thematic analysis. And we got four themes that came out of it and they were um, patient assessment. So we are very um, critically involved in assessing the patient, um, not just for the symptoms for the lung cancer, but holistically as well and what their needs are emotionally, um, not just physically. Um, being co one of the uh, other themes was being a coordinator of care. So it's a really, really complex diagnostic pathway and it's about um, coordinating that care. Um, sometimes they have to go off to other centres to have diagnostic procedures. So we're there making sure that we get them through this pathway, not just quickly, but um, ensuring that they're, they're well cared for as well. Um, relationship building and using communication skills. So um, I touched on it earlier, but kind of making sure you've built a relationship with the patient so they feel that they can come to you, they can ask you questions, um, and that they are able to phone you and that you're not too busy you know, to help them. Um, and then um, one theme that came out that kind of underpinned everything was um, effective utilization of resources. So that is, um, looking at the resources that you've got and utilising them effectively to be able to, to deliver your role. Um, and there was a, another theme which is about managing expectations. Um, so patients very often have high expectations um, going through a diagnostic process in that they're going to get the biopsy the next day, they're going to get the results that day, they're going to get surgery you know within two days um, and it's about trying to manage the expectations of the patients of what we can achieve in a, a time frame that you know is acceptable to the patient but is is doable that, w that we're able to do um, so these things do take time and it's about trying to manage the expectations so they were our themes and then we put together a list of recommendations and that was that there needs to be more clarification over the role of the lung cancer nurse specialist because the, there isn't really any literature out there that really underpins what we do. And also that if a trust is looking at implementing the optimal cancer pathway, then we need more resources. So the lung cancer nurse specialist needs more resources um, to be able to effectively um, do the job that we do.